Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Today, I'm doing a different type of video. I didn't want to do it at first, but I was like, you know, maybe this will touch someone. Um, as you guys can tell from my eyes, I have been crying all day today. Um, this past weekend has been very tough for me. I lost the aunt. And um, a whole lot of family drama and issues is going on with my family. I want everyone who's watching this video right now to know that tomorrow is not promised to us. I can die right now. And you can die tomorrow. Quit living life as if tomorrow is a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. Be grateful for the time that God has blessed you to be here on this earth. Be grateful. Appreciate it. Spend your time wisely. I don't want to spend the rest of my days bitter. I don't want to spend the rest of my days angry. I don't want to spend the rest of my days suffering. I want happiness. And I'm not saying I'm going to be happy every single day. But like they say, I want my good to outweigh my bad. So if you guys have any family issues or... um any problems in long term uh, friendships or anything like that if you can be the bigger person even if you're the one that was in the right and you wasn't in the wrong if you can be the bigger person and call that person up and tell them hey today this ends this ends today I want to put it to rest from now on, when I see you and when I talk to you, it's nothing but beautiful memories to follow. I don't want to keep bringing up the past. If you're going to keep bringing up the past, then you're living in the past. The past was yesterday. That's why God gave us 365 days in a year. If he still wanted the same thing to continue, he'll make it just one day. Yesterday has ended, and today is a new day. Love me while I'm here, and I promise to do the same for you. I will love you while you're here. I don't want anyone in my family to feel that I can go years without talking to them. I don't want that. I want to be able to come together as decent adults and talk it out. Maybe it was miscommunication. Maybe it was a misunderstanding. Or maybe I was yelling so much that I didn't hear your side of the story or vice versa. But maybe if we come together and we talk as human beings, as grown folk, maybe we can find out what's the root of this problem. And we can solve it. But we can't solve it if you're going to keep holding something over my head that I did 10 years ago. We're not going to solve it if you're going to keep holding over my head something that I did yesterday. That was yesterday. Let's start today. What did I do today? I came to you. I said, let's talk. I even apologized. I just had to make this video because it's depressing of what I'm going through right now and I feel like if everyone can put their issues to the side to face the big picture we can come to a resolution but we can't do that if you're still holding on to something that is old and not only are you holding on to something that is old you probably can't even uh prove it 
You know, like, let it go and let go. We only live one time, and I'm not trying to spend the rest of my days sitting up here arguing with somebody about something I did 10 years ago. I want you guys to please, please pray for me. And um, I need every prayer. And um, if you guys have noticed that I've lost weight within a week because I've been um, water fasting, I can see it. That's why I just wanted to bring it up just in case you've seen the video and be like, oh, my God, you know, her face is smaller. It's because I'm water fasting. Today is day number eight, I believe. Yeah, today is day number eight. And um, so... I'm already going through fasting, so that means I'm already praying constantly. So, I want you guys to pray for me as well. Every prayer counts, and I need it. And I'm going to say this before I end the video. Love your family while they're here. Give them their flowers while they're here. Tell them you love them while they're here. Don't wait until there's that death in the family. And now, oh, I love you. I did. I, I miss you so much. When I was here, you didn't care. Love me while I'm here. And I just had to make that video. So if you're going through something that's petty and you know it's not worth it, you be the bigger person. I'm calling you out. I'm asking you to be the bigger person. Even if you're in the right and they're wrong, you being the bigger person shows that you're in the right because you called it out and you said, let's discuss it. Let's settle this. You do not want someone to pass away and you guys wasn't talking all because they didn't pay you $25 that they owe you 13 years ago 13 years ago you still mad at me because I didn't pay you $25 and now I'm gone now you crying all over my casket Saying that you love me and you miss me. But when I was here, you didn't even want to see me because I owe you $25 from 13 years ago. You have to learn to let things go and let God. God has the final say, not us. You guys have an awesome day and may God bless you. And before this video in i'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel and please click the red notification bell at the bottom and again every prayer counts you guys have an awesome day